Steve Jobs died on Wednesday, October 5th, after a long battle uh, with pancreatic cancer. I'm John Markoff, and I have covered Silicon Valley for the Times going back to 1992, and I've written about Silicon Valley since 1976, which coincidentally is the year that Apple Computer was founded. Computers were very expensive uh, in the 1970s, and there was a a hobbyist movement that grew up in Silicon Valley um, that was composed of of a group of young men who wanted to get their hands on computers. In fact, they were so expensive that Steve Wozniak built his own computer. And Wozniak, uh, by himself, uh, would never have done more than play with computers. And it was Steve Jobs who really understood that there was a market for personal computing. And, you know, that company was extremely successful even during the 1970s and 1980s. And it defined uh, an entire industry that is, has really reshaped first our economy and more recently our culture. And when he came back to Apple in the 1990s, in 1997, Steve's Set, uh, set out to basically walk through uh, media and change the way the media was used by our culture. And he created a series of products starting uh, with the iPod that really transformed American culture. He took the music player, uh, then he, he took the, the telephone, and, and then he took the book, and he basically put computing in them and made the magic. Steve's battle with cancer was really epic and it was so tragic Uh, but through all of that uh, he continued to run this company in a remarkable way I mean he realized the scope and impact of computing Um, one of the slogans for the Macintosh Steve called it a bicycle for the mind Uh, it it really sort of extended in computing into every nook and cranny of our culture and you know what's what's just so sad what's so tragic is that uh, you know, he died now. There, there's so much more in, in that trajectory still to do.